is spicing things up this morning, with chili that is. Later today, the Milwaukee Chili Bowl gets underway, but this morning we are getting a preview with 12 News contributor Kid O'Shea. Kid? And Andrew is the organizer of the Milwaukee Chili Bowl. We were talking earlier this morning. It started out about uh, nine years ago with yep. a couple hundred people at Serb Hall. It's now moved to Potawatomi Hotel and Casino, where some 4,000 people are expected later today. Yes. Where'd you come up with the idea to do a Chili Bowl competition? Well, a lot of my friends own restaurants, and they all say, "Oh, I have the best chili." I said, "Well, really? Well, let's let's do this then." And. Uh, it's grown from here. 35 restaurants, 60 different uh, chilies yeah. to try, and the Golden Ladle Award. What does it take to win the Golden Ladle Award? The best of the best, you know, the best chili out of 60 varieties, and each attendee gets one vote. We tally them up and well, award the Golden Ladle. Let's talk to Brian uh, from Mulligan's in Franklin, four time winner of the Golden Ladle Award. We have two of your chilies right here that have been winners in the past. Tell us about the first chili right here. Well, the first chili there is a smoked poblano white bean vegetarian chili. That's last year's vegetarian entry winner. Uh, the next one is our traditional beef and pork chili. And there's Guinness in there, there's harp in there, and a lot of love. Now, yes, are there some secret ingredients you cannot tell us about right now on television because of the competition later today? Uh, yes, there are. I will try them, though. Are you confident you can go for your fifth win today? I am confident. Uh, we have a lot of customers that are looking forward to this event, and we have a lot of them that come here. So, All right, nothing against the vegetarian thing, but if I'm going to eat chili, I'm going to eat it this way. Mmm. Very good. Delicious. Mmm. All right, more from the Chili Bowl coming up after 8 o'clock.